Hello, friends. Robert Bevan here, author of the Caverns and Creatures series of comedy fantasy novels and short stories. With me is Sam West, and today we're talking about the feat, Cartomancer. Like you got a card, and you this your card. Ha! Huh. It's a Magic the Gathering card. I'm an addict. This is cards. unlucky. This is from the newest book that is delayed at time of recording. It was supposed to be out, but you can get it on D&D Beyond early, but it's kind of just like the only way you can get it right now. Uh, it might, that might not be true in the coming weeks, but uh, it's the the book of many things. And the whole premise is it's a really novel idea. I actually love this concept a lot. It's kind of like a new product where they they took the deck of many things that people kind of adore and they like they made it a way to bank your games using the deck. Like it's kind of like a tarot deck that you just can mess around with and make encounters and adventures and campaigns with it. And it includes some cool card themed options. This is one such option. This is a feat that they got in the book um, that I'm a huge fan of. I think this feat's sweet. Uh, Want to dive in? Um, Yeah, let's do it. All right, great. So this is a prereq fourth level and requires spellcasting. And I'm pretty sure it says prereq fourth level these days because they are moving feats to be background elements as well so this is like is you can't take this as a variant human or as part of your background basically in any case this says uh you have learned uh to channel your magic through a deck of cards you can use a deck as your spell casting focus and you gain the following benefits card tricks you learn the press the digitation cantrip and can use it to create illusions that duplicate the effects of stage magic which is literally what press the digitation does <laughs> when you use press the digitation this way you can conceal the verbal and somatic components of the spell and, and as ordinary conversation and card handling which is really cute. Is it matter? No, but it's really cute. <laughs> yeah, I read this and I thought, yeah, I, before reading on it, I thought, oh my god, this is so lame. <laughs> <laughs> I love this kind of crap. You could be um, Joe Bluth. <laughs> no, but you can be Joe Bluth if he was good at it, right? You no, know, <laughs> dead. But I oh, real quick, quick sidebar: dead dove don't open inside is one of my favorite jokes ever told yeah. on television. It's so good. It is really. Good. Um, Anyway, uh, the other one is Hidden Ace. So when you finish a long rest, this is the real feature, you can choose one spell from your class's spell list and imbue that spell into a card. The chosen spell must have a casting time of one action. It must be a level which you have spell slots. The card remains imbued with the spell for eight hours. While the card is imbued with the spell, you can use a bonus action to flourish the card and cast the spell within. The card then immediately uses, loses its magic. So this is something like Contingency. As a yeah. feat. Yeah. Which is kind of where I think it belongs. If we're going to talk about like, because contingency isn't really a spell as we talked about in the contingency video. It's more like this. It's more like an extra spell slot that's just of the best thing you got that you store in a card earlier in the day and then use however you like. Or the best thing you don't got. Yeah. Because for some reason, you just pick one from your class list instead of like actually having to pick a spell that you've prepared or learned or anything like that. It seems really, really busted. Like this seems truly obnoxiously powerful. Yeah, it does. Because this, uh, I mean, this doesn't just work at low levels. This this keeps going, right? Yeah, it will always be just one, but it will always match whatever your best is, basically, right? So we add a, add a third, a fourth level character that picks a supple get a second level spell slot that they can use for their second level spells, which is the best thing you have at the moment. The moment mm -hmm. you get third level, well, now it's upgraded to a third level spell slot, and it's going to be the best thing you have in the moment. And the moment you hit seventh level, it goes up to four. All right, yeah, Fifth that level, was my question. Yes, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, yeah, that, I mean, talk about a feat that scales. Yeah, this is a second ninth level spell slot, which is disgusting. Um, most people don't get there, but like even as a second sixth or fifth level spell slot early, it's going to be yucky good. And they also like, it plays even better on the already busted options like Bladesinger because it lets you like bank a fireball as a bonus action and then multi-attack and throw a fireball out, which is mm. just like, that's gross, right? Like that's just so yeah. ungodly efficient. It's disgusting. This is absurd. It's a. It is nice to have like a real home run feat, though, because you know we've got these new books and everything just seems so kind of lame, and we're like just searching through the weeds trying to find some reason to justify it existing. Any redeeming yeah. quality to add yeah. that one d six damage three times per long rest to my sheet, like. Yeah. That's what most of them feel like. This definitely feels like it's a lot more than that. I think it's hilarious that it's attached to the stage magician gimmick. <laughs> <laughs> it's really, really funny. That, like, the guy pulling Kravitz out of the house is also just the guy that gets double the amount of ninth level spells as everyone else. That's really, it's really cute. Uh, I, I, this is the kind of feat that there's hope Master for anyone. For. Oh, yeah. What's this that? This is, 
this is the kind of feat that like you every single spellcaster in the game will want this i'm pretty sure oh right? yeah like where the the martial characters have always had their builds where it's like you had great weapon master you had sharpshooter you had uh sentinel and polar master you had two weapon fighting ish you had the other like worse ones but with small little variations that you could sneak into cross bucks for stuff uh, this is just like, oh, you don't just have to go work or war mate or warcaster anymore, right? Like you actually have other variety and choice to make. Yeah, your this is sheet. the the sharpshooter of spellcasters. Yeah, and it's like where it differs, right? Is it's not quite a, every round is better, but it's just you have more better rounds, right? You yeah. have more rounds that are at your highest potential, which isn't like a perfect one to one with what sharpshooter does, but it no, is. No, I a was very just talking in terms build, of, right? in terms of like. You kind of have to get this. I think a lot of people are going to be in that camp, yeah. yeah. It's like, a, oh, this is just something you pick up because it's just an extra version of your highest level spell slot. Uh, it's going to make the divide between marshals and casters feel even bigger, and it's going to happen even faster. Uh, but, you know, this I mean, it's can't not fix just, the fundamentals of the game. Like It's not just you, like, you know, say you get into level three, level three spells. Not only, you're not just getting two fireballs, you're getting fireball and the option of some other really busted third level spell. Oh yeah, they didn't, you didn't have to learn or prepare or put on your sheet. Yeah, right. Because it's like every time you rest, let me make sure I'm reading this correctly. Uh, you choose a spell from your one of your class from one of your classes spell lists, right? So if you're multi-classing, it just needs to be a level of what you cast, and it needs to be on that class's sheet. And you're like, oh yeah, okay, I just. Multi-class needed to be a little bit better, I guess. But yeah, also, you can just be like, I've I've learned Fireball, I've learned Haste, but I could also just take, like, I don't know, a different third-level spell that we might need for this adventure, stick it in a card, and use it later. I honestly think that use case is probably going to be a little bit lower powered than just doubling up on your already powerful busted effects. Like, there's going to be oh, reasons yeah. characters take Fireball and stuff. I still love that it'll come out as, like, a, 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 it will in those moments feel like you have an ace up your sleeve whenever you fire off an effect that isn't on your character sheet that's, like, I prepared this for this event because I knew we were going to, like, you know, fight some specific niche thing. Like, protection from energy is the kind of effect I would expect to see, like, that's really niche, but it, it did really matter in this coming fight, and it's cool that you pulled it out. That's never going to be better than other prepared options, probably, specifically protection from energy, but there will be some instances, I'm sure, where you'll be like, wow, that was sweet and unexpected and came because you got a free extra highest level spell slot accessible to you. Oof. Um, yeah, I mean, I think, have we covered this? This I guess. I, I keep rereading it, and I am keep like, you have to spend a spell slot on this, surely. Like, it's a bonus action. It's so good. It it doesn't need to be as powerful as, as it is. Like, this could and, be worse, and I'd still put it on a lot of sheets. And I'm also looking for the, you know, are we reading this correctly? It's just from your spell list. It doesn't have to be something you know. Because that's, yep. I mean, that's not unintentional wording. I mean, it's very easy to write a spell that you know. Like, yeah. This is, to to Write the words a spell on your list. That's that's not an accident. I mean, so I think what ended up with, I would guess that verbiage exists not so much to empower the option, but more so to make it work for every single spell casting class because spell classes prepare things differently, oh, right? So yeah, that's true. Some classes are prepared, they don't learn anything. Bards learn everything. Wizards don't learn, but they do prepare, but they also have to write them in their spell book. So like you, you can't really say prepared spells mm. here because then bards and sorcerers can't use it and warlocks can't use it and stuff. So you would have to say like prepared or known, which is a little bit clunky, but then they, they can just make it better and stick it on this and everyone's excited about it. So you think it was a matter of laziness? Yeah, I'm inclined to believe that. That's not necessarily a bad thing for it though, right? Like I think no. it's it makes it better and it's going to make it a very fun ability to play with. Yeah, absolutely. There's going to be a lot of times where a spell that has no business being in a, as a bonus, being cast as a bonus action is going to get cast as a bonus action with this thing. And it's going to be like, oh, and you also still have your action, do whatever you want with. So, I mean, like, if there's no restrictions, like spells that take an hour to cast. Uh, it's, there are restrictions. The spell must have a casting time of one action. Okay, there it goes. Okay. So good, it good. won't quicken like Gaia, or not Gaius, uh, Hero or anything like that. Right. But it will, you know. Give you a really flexible in combat method here. I love this on like even the half casters, which is weird, just because it gives them a little bit more magic, and I'm often gonna want a little bit more magic on them. And it also like because you can use it as a bonus action, you're gonna have extra attack on your sheet. Like you're gonna be able to use your spells a lot more efficiently, and you're gonna have a lot more efficient turns. So like a paladin with this, for example, 
you can bonus action hold, or I guess bonus holy weapon is already a bonus action, but like bonus action the destructive wave, which I'm normally really low on. But whenever you can cast it as a bonus action, then you get this big area of effect damage around you, and then you smite something twice for like 12d8 damage. It's gonna feel amazing. It's gonna feel so cool. This thing is <laughs> awesome. All right. Uh, well, I guess that's it. Uh, well, I, you got a rating? I'm confident this is a vibe. Like I'm oh, confident yeah. this is the kind of feat that are gonna get. It's gonna get banned at some tables. I would expect it to at least. Just because one extra of your highest level spell slots is, it's just like a whole extra level, right? It's like having access to more resources than you're supposed to be allowed to, and then it empowers that resource further, like for no particularly good reason. So, yeah, uh, unless there's something we have grossly misunderstood about this, then yeah, uh, yeah absolute five out of five. Yeah, commenters, let me know. Maybe like you do have to spend spell slots on this, and I just keep reading it and missing the same three words over and over again, but I'm. From my interpretation of this, this is just a free spell slot with huge amounts of upside. So, or maybe when the book is released, it won't be this. <laughs> it's on the DVD beyond like this right okay. now. Okay. So, yeah, that would be really funny. Actually. All right, uh, at the time of this recording, yeah, five out of five, tremendously busted, super All gross, right. fun, fun feat. Yeah, finally. All right, that was Cartomancer. Um, thank you, Sam. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Let us know what you think down in the comments below, and like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. If you found this helpful, informative, or entertaining, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button below. You needn't smash it. A gentle tap will suffice. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel. And make sure you check out the links in the description, where you'll find my Caverns and Creatures series of comedy fantasy novels, Sam's full review of the spell, and other fun things.